I was 18 years old and I was in college when I was diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse and regurgitation. Mitral valve prolapse is when one of the two doors of the mitral valve, uh, we call them leaflets, and one of these leaflets becomes loose or floppy, meaning moving too much uh, and then they don't close well. Then if there's a gap, the mitral valve regurgitation, which is a leaky valve, can occur. In my 30s, my brother ended up having mitral valve repair. Then in my 40s, my father ended up having mitral valve repair, and they both had full sternotomies and a long recovery. So in the back of my mind, I was like, you know, I'm next. Some people do have this due to a uh, genetic component. So now we recommend that even for people who do not have any symptoms, with a severe mitral valve regurgitation, we recommend to address that sooner than later. So I started doing my research, read about Dr. Quano and the team over there at MedStar, and was impressed with what they were doing with robotic surgery, and I loved that they were close. I started watching interviews and videos about the procedures, and that's when I knew I was, I was ready to do it. Michael was 59 years old, healthy and very active. His dad and brother had a mitral valve surgery in the past through a sternotomy standard approach. And then he was found to have a severe mitral valve regurgitation. And then we performed the surgery with a robotic mitral valve repair and uh, everything went well and he went home in three days. Not only can robotic approach give patients the quicker recovery, but also it's proven to be the safest approach. Right now I'm three and a half months post-op and I feel amazing. My, my life is 100% back to normal. I just kind of woke up one day and I'm like, did I really have surgery? Because <laughs> I was feeling great.